Section 6.2a, talking about parallelograms. Now, if you remember, the definition for a parallelogram is going to be a four-sided polygon or quadrilateral that has two sets of parallel lines. That's going to be the definition for a parallelogram. And as you remember from when we took our notes, there were a couple of specific key features about parallelograms, and those key features are going to help us with this worksheet. So, as you can see with the directions, solve each problem and then plug your answer into the box for the next problem. Each problem depends on your previous answer. So, because of that, you do have to go in order. So, let's look at number A. So we're asked to find the value of Z and we are given this parallelogram and then these two values. Well, if you notice these lines that go from vertex to vertex across the middle of the polygon are known as diagonals. And if you remember from our notes that we took in class, number five on our notes say that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. And remember, if two things are going to bisect one another, that means that it is being cut into two equal parts. So this 4z plus 1 and this 13z minus 8 have been created from the original thing that was bisected. So because of that, these two are going to be equal to one another. So I'm going to set them equal to one another. So if I get 4z plus 1 equals 13z minus 8, and then I didn't do the little in-between step here. I just went ahead and solved 4z. But you would basically have to add 8 over here and subtract 4 over here to where you'd get 9 equals 9z and then divide both sides by 9. So you would get that z equals 1 for part A. So now that you have found this answer, you are going to now take this thing and plug it into the box we see in part B. So originally, you don't have anything in this little box right here. We take our z equals 1 and we plug it in here. So now we're asked to find the value of A, given these values, 3A minus 1 degrees and 134 degrees. So another key fact that we learned about parallelograms in class comes from number 3 in our notes, which says that opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent to one another. Okay, so these two angles are going to be opposite one another. So I'm going to set them equal to each other. So 3A minus 1 is equal to 134. You'd add your 1 over there and you'd get 3A equals 135. And then you divide both sides by 3, you should get A is equal to 45. So then you will plug this value of A equals 45 into your box in part C. And that's how you'll complete this worksheet.